you can see the steps are you create four a structure and then you create a table type and then a function module could be created and then uh, uh, you have to create a data source in our system. These are the I mean uh, these are the steps to create a generic data source. I'm a, uh, your uh, laptop I guess uh, don't have a headphone. Hello. Yeah. Power to mute all of us. Power to mute all of Can we uh, can you hear So can I go ahead? Yes. Now I will go ahead with the class and uh, here uh, to create a um, function group we have to go to a CE which is a ABAP workbench, development workbench where we create uh, functional groups and uh, uh, packages etc. So we have to go to SEIT to create the ABAP development workbench. So here the procedure is uh, we are going to create a functional module based on database table SPFLI. So for that we went to the SEIT connection and uh, we have created a functional group yesterday. And then we went to the SE11 transaction and we have created a structure yesterday. And then we have a, again we use the SC11 transaction. The table type we have done it yesterday. And now what we have to do? In SE 37, we are going to create a functional module. So, we are going to, I'm going to apply the logic behind that. So here we will be creating a functional module in which we have uh, SAP has given one, uh, I mean, a standard uh, functional module. So this is the standard functional module SAP has given, and uh, what we are doing is uh, we are going to edit this functional module rather than creating totally new functional module. So this functional module we are going to copy and we are going to use it for our uh, functional module and we will change the code for this functional module. So rsax underscore baw underscore get data 
is the SAP given standard functional modules. So you will see is that in uh, SE 37. So this is the functional module which is SAP providing and uh, for this standard functional module we, we will do some editing and we will use it for our own purpose. So here you have import, these are the, uh, I mean, in the variables which we are importing here and uh, this, and you can see what we are exporting here, there are nothing, we are exporting nothing here and uh, changing, there is no nothing we are changing and the tables we are using some tables IT select, IT fields and the ET data and the ET source structure these are the tables I mean uh, these are the tables internal tables we are going to use in this uh, uh, program as well which are provided by SAP and these are no more data and uh, error profit to mess handler these are the two error exceptions uh, when we get the error these exceptions will handle those errors and display some error uh, error number and uh, error reason. So for that purpose there are two uh, exceptions created. So there is a short code and here we, going, we are going to write the code. So there are you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tags in uh, function module. Actually, to import, export, changing tables, exceptions, and short code. Import is something we import from other, uh, I mean, uh, programs and in functional module to use it in the functional module. Export is something that we give from the functional module and write in the functional module, create in the functional module, and export it to the other program, main program, so that we can use the the functional module along with the main program changing is something we import from other program and uh, we change it, change the logic in within the functional module and use it that is uh, that is called changing uh, uh, such variables are declared in changing and tables are internal tables we are going to use in functional module we are going to use internal tables which are standard like et data and uh, it select it fields in a uh, functional module and this is a structure, ET source structure. And we are going to declare this structure as our own structure that we created yesterday. We have created a structure called ZA underscore STR. We, we have created a table type called ZTYA STR. So by using this, uh, I mean, uh, we can declare the already given parameters here. So here exceptions are used to catch the errors and give the error, I mean the message. So here the source code is where we are going to change the code and we are going to write our own code. This is the SAP given function module. We are going to delete the source code easily and going to create it by our own code. Yesterday we have created some functional group and uh, I forgot to add the functional group name here and I am missing the name here. Maybe the, it is a ZFM underscore 1. Let's see. So in order to create our own functional module, we are using the standard functional module given by SAP and there is a button called copy here. Click on the copy. Here you have the functional module from. There is the from functional module RSAS and there is the to functional module and uh, for, for this functional module we, we will copy from this standard and uh, we will give our own name. We will give that here. And there is a standard standard functional group, and we cannot store this to the standard functional group. 
store our function module to the standard one. So what we will do is to see whether uh, we have uh, our own functional module. So here we have uh, uh, this one. So let's change it to our function module ZFM under it and uh, display this. Here we have copied successfully our function module. We have copied this functional module and we have created our functional module. So we copied it. And we created this. Now in this functional module, we have import, import everything just like the uh, standard functional module now. So we got all the source code which is like the standard functional module. In this one, we are going to change this. First of all, click on change and then go to and main program. Here we have to click on the top include and here we can see that there is a type pools already. Generally you won't see it here type pools SJWA. In this case you have to in that case you have to add it here. Like you know, you have to type it back here. You won't see it here. We we will come to the main program, go to the main programs and we will add this type pools here and activate it. Once you activate the top, you have to go back and you have to click on all the source code. delete it. Now you can see we have uh, I mean uh, we have to go to table. Here we have to give our source structure name and the table type. Here this is the structure name and this is the table type and you copy this table type and here you have to give this is the table internal table. So ET data type our table type and then this structure you have to give the internal table and then you have to give the structure name this is our structure name so once you give that you have to click enter Sometimes it is hard to believe, but you have to believe that you have done the correct thing. It is showing the absolute, so let's change it to like. So it is taken. Now you can see ET data type uh, type internal table that we created and uh, source structure like our source structure.